there are a lot of folks out there who feel like the only thing that works for them is the ankle carry method. If you're one of those folks, I'm telling you, it can be done. And uh, if you follow the advice that I've given you today, uh, you might just be very happy with it. Hey my friends, Late Boy Scout here. Most people will agree that the ankle holster is not the ideal way to conceal carry your firearm. At least not for your primary concealed carry firearm. If you're going to carry two, it's a nice place to keep a backup. But for those of you, and there are some of you out there, who feel that you don't have any other option but to put your gun on your ankle, and that's the only place you can carry it. I wanted to make this video to uh, to show the method that I have sort of worked out for myself as a way to draw fairly quickly and get some rounds on target and still do some of the things that I've been trained to do which is look around and assess for other targets make sure that uh, make sure that my area is clear before I reholster and then also just reholster at the same time you know do that as well so I demonstrated just now what I did and how I drew how I presented the after action drills and so forth. I'll go through those briefly with you now and if you feel that it works for you go ahead and use it. So we begin this whole thing with a nice bladed stance about a 30 degree stance and this creates stability for your body and uh, as you're shooting and taking your shots it's just a good stance to have. My feet are about about shoulder width apart this is what I learned at front sight a lot of other places will teach something similar to this a good stance is a great place to start. So with that good stance about shoulder width, I need to start and get to a point where I can draw my weapon from my ankle holster. In order to do that, I found the only way that uh, really works for me is to take the foot that does not have the ankle holster on it, in this case my right leg, throw it back a couple feet, a foot or two, and then, uh, and then do my draw. So I'll throw my foot back a little bit, make my stance wider like this, at the same time that I do that, my support hand, that's the non-shooting hand, my left hand in this case, comes way down here and grabs onto my pants. Now I don't grab it by the cuff here. If I grab it by the cuff, it's going to get hung up like this, right there. So don't grab it by the cuff, that's not going to help you out. And don't grab it real high, that might work or you might not get it completely clear. So somewhere in between is where you want to go. So after I've thrown my leg back here, I grab it about here and grab a nice handful of, of clothing. Like that. And just pull it up as far as I can get it. And at the same time I'm pulling that up, I'm throwing my hand down here and slapping my firearm and getting a good orientation with it, really getting a good grip on it. And the way this particular one works is it's got a thumb break right here. So it's not hard for me to slap that and break it at the same time get a nice grip on it and pull it out. And as I pull it out, I bring it up. And as I'm bringing it up, I'm letting go of this and I'm bringing my support hand up and I'm making contact with my gun. From that point, it goes back out, I line my sights, begin my trigger press and take my shots. And then of course I do my after action drill. And this is something that's particular to uh, front sight, but again, most other training places will teach you something similar. And that is to look left and right. Make sure there's nothing in your immediate vicinity that's waiting to hurt you. And when you've done that, get your eyes back on your target and reassess it. Is it down? Does it need to be put down again? Pay attention to that. When you've done that, take a nice sort of 360 degree look around you just for one more last assessment and a full assessment to make sure that uh, your area is clear and that you're safe.
Bring your gun back down, point it at the ground, clear that clothing, bring it up from behind, point it semi-backward, bring it into that holster, clear it of all obstacles, and just slowly tuck it in there. If you can keep your eyes on your target as you're doing this, it's a good idea. Bring that, that uh, attachment there and clip it again and cover up your firearm. And that's it from start to finish. Now, I'll talk a little bit more about ankle holsters. There's a wide variety of them out there. I'm not gonna really talk about uh, which one's the best to get. I haven't tried that many of them, to be honest. But there are a wide variety of them out there. Try one that, uh, like mine, brings your firearm as close to your leg as it can get. That's one thing I really like about this particular one. It's got elastic and pulls that gun really close to my, to my leg. Uh, another point I'll talk about is always get this calf support, this calf strap here. If you don't have something like that, you're going to feel it eventually. It's going to get, it's going to feel like a big heavy weight on your leg. It's going to be bothering your ankle and your foot and it's going to suck. It's, you're just not going to ever want to wear it. If you wear a calf strap like this, it pulls some of that weight away from here, brings it up to the rest of your leg, and it's actually quite bearable. So whatever you use, make sure you have a calf strap. Now, I'm not going to tell you that it's not fatiguing at all. It is somewhat fatiguing to have a big weight on your leg. As you're walking around, you'll notice it. You'll feel it. You'll feel that this leg, this foot is a little bit heavier than that one. You'll definitely notice. However, um, it's still very doable, and uh, wearing it in an everyday fashion I've tried it, I've done it. I've walked um, a fair bit, a fair good amount in this, with this uh, ankle holster on and this particular gun on my ankle. Uh, about four miles at, at uh, one time, did that on a lunch break from work and came back and yeah, the next day my foot was a little bit sore, but I'll tell you, while I was doing it, it didn't feel that bad. And uh, the soreness, the little bit of soreness I had, I think would have been overcome if I had done that on a regular basis. It's really just my muscles feeling a little fatigued from one particular workout. So, ankle holsters. Not ideal in my opinion. I like strong side carry on your waistband or inside your waistband, kind of like I'm wearing my car P uh, CM9 right now. This is what I prefer and I'll always recommend that above just about anything else. However, as I said at the beginning of this video, there are a lot of folks out there who feel like the only thing that works for them is the ankle carry method. If you're one of those folks, I'm telling you, it can be done. And uh, if you follow the advice that I've given you, given you today, uh, you might just be very happy with it. That's all I'm going to say about ankle holsters for today. Thanks very much for watching. I'm the late Boy Scout. We'll see you on the next one.